How's it going folks? Just got this in the mail and with San Diego Comic Con going on and previews of movies, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I figured it'd be a good time to open up one of these, uh, take a look at them. Um, I'm not sure everyone knows about it, particularly D&D fans. Uh, I didn't know about it until I was doing a search on their website. This is a GameStop exclusive apparently. Um, it comes in this nice sleeve there. It is the Dungeons and Dragons Six Ring Set. GameStop exclusive. Nice case. Does look like it's officially licensed. Looks like it's hinge on the back. Loose, loose, and then just a little bit of tape here on the side. Looks like it's sealed, but it looks like it has a little bit of perforation, so it should be easy. I'm just using my handy dandy little exacto to get in there so we can take a look at what we got here. I love the box. Look at the inside of that. It's not felt or anything. It's just printed cardboard, but it still looks nice. We have this piece of foam insert in here. Really thick. You can hear that card stop. Certificate of Authenticity in that nice, bold red foil. This document certifies that this ring set is authentic. Dungeons and Dragons jewelry manufactured by licensee Sales One LLC. The following rings are in the set. Ring of Three Wishes, Ring of X-Ray Vision, Ring of Spell Storing, Ring of Spell Turning, Ring of Fire Resistance, and Ring of Telekinesis. So you get quite a few of the really good ones. Nothing on the back of it. This cardboard insert's kind of popped out a little bit, but it has this little pull tab here. I guess in case you wanted to pull everything out. Well, let's take a look at these rings. Ring of Spell Train. Nice little mirror effect on there. Really can't pick out the coloration too good in the lighting that I have, but let me get my handy dandy exacto in here. Here's a pointer tool. Um, it looks like this is kind of like a brass detail around the edge with uh, like little dark gemstones. Although that one might be missing its gemstone right there. Um, we got like a little gemstone insert here. But it looks like that one is missing, so I'll have to investigate that. Nope, nope, it's in there. It's just dark. Uh, and then we have this uh, golden ring with the blue eyeball on it. It's ring of x-ray vision. Ring of three wishes, so there should be some gemstones in there. And I'll take these out so we can take a closer look at each one. Let's start with the Ring of Three Wishes. Oh, it feels like there's some sort of foil on the back. Oh, look at that. Let's take the foil out of that one. I mean, they're definitely not gonna, just so you can see the back of the rings. That's what the back of the ring packaging looks like. That is really good design. They're not gonna fall out in transport. And then you have this nice foil stock and I mean uh, foam stock in there. Let's take a look. This is our first one, the ring of fire resistance. This is what our ring is looking like. As a close-up detail as I can. Looks like we got on the inside of the ring the wizard's name and logo. Now it looks like here you could pull this apart. It is a loose metal. You probably don't want to do that a whole lot. Let's see. Yeah, I'd probably have to raise it out a little bit. All right. Nice. So you can adjust it. It's not going to move around anywhere. If you have difficulty getting it off, I guess you could just pry it open a little bit more. Odd note, rings don't really fit that well on this finger of mine. I sprained it in middle school probably about 15 times in gym class. Um, so the joints, it's, it's just not that good. <laughs> So that was that ring, Ring of Fire Resistance. Put that back in with its foam insert so it doesn't go falling around on me. 
Next up is going to be our ring of spell turning. Okay, so it's a now I'm getting the light in there. It's a blue gemstone we have here. And same up here. I'm partially colored. Oh, and you have little. Let me get my pointer, and then right in here, where we got right in here, looks like we have little gems. So the attention to detail on these, really good. And that's going to cause some difficulty with the camera just because of the reflective surface. It's got a nice weight to it. It's got a nice feel to it. They are a good size. And it looks like all the bands do have that adjustable. Uh, even in the description, it said you go from like 9 to a 12 or something like that. You're probably not going to do that a whole lot, um, moving the band around, because most metals like that will wear down over time. And I'll take pictures of these and put them side by side with their... Uh, pictures in the Dungeon Master's Guide so you can kind of compare. You've got the gemstones on the top and bottom, nice little eye design, smooth on the inside. So these will make really good props or handouts for your players, or if you're a player, this would make a really nice set for your uh, Dungeon Master. Next up is, so that was the X-ray vision. What do we got here? This is the Ring of Three Wishes. You got your three gemstones in the middle. Really nice details, I mean. Come on, camera, focus in. Let me try and not give it any other details to go after. Just the ring. Come on, camera. There we go. It's got like a braided design around the edge. So this set I got from uh, GameStop's website, Fire Resistance, uh, it was $40. I actually got it for a little bit. Now this is a big ring. I'm not sure how well that's going to clasp onto this gemstone in here. And the gemstone just feels more like a resin or a plastic as opposed to an actual stone. I've worked with stone before and this doesn't feel like that. It doesn't even feel like a piece of glass. It feels more like a resin. But still... Oh, yeah, it's like hands holding it. That's awesome. I've never noticed that design before. Um, but I was able to get this for a little bit cheaper because I have a pro membership. That's only like, I got it when it was on sale for $10 for a whole year uh, for the whole membership. Oh, spell turning. It's going to be our last one. Um, in every month, you get a $5 off purchase coupon. So, you know, if I'm buying stuff in there all the time, whether it's magic cards or action figures or even random things like this, it, it more than pays for itself. This is our ring of spell turning. And those glyph designs are all the way around. How easy is it to... So, yeah, it is fairly easy to adjust this one as well. I imagine this would go here. So for me, let me adjust that open a little bit. Adjust that open a little bit. So yeah, there's my ring of spell turning. Nice. Thing is, when you adjust them, they tend not to want to go back in the box that well. There we go. And then do that. <laughs> So all in all, a really nice set. I used one of my $5 coupons when I ordered this. I ordered two once that I could do this video because uh, I knew it was going to have to be open. And then the other one that I could keep sealed. I don't know, I might use it as a gift or a prize. Or if, you know, D&D &D catches on even more than it already has, it might be worth reselling later on down the line. But as far as a box set goes, it's a really attractive box set. You get some really good rings, and you know what? Let's go ahead and take a look at what the rings look like next to their Dungeon Master Guide picture.
there you have it, the D&D ring set. Um, I'm probably going to be picking up a couple more of these. I think it's a really good deal. The six rings for 40 bucks. you know, that's less than $10 a ring. That's not bad. Plus, um, I'm not sure how many of these they made, and it is a GameStop exclusive. So whether or not you'll be able to find this later on anywhere else, or overcharged at conventions, um, you know, next month when I get my other you know, monthly $5 coupon for being a pro member. I'll probably use that to get another one for $35. So definitely worth picking up at the normal price. If you're a pro member, you can get it for $5 less. That's awesome too. Um, it's definitely worth picking up. I just want to let people know about it because it is a GameStop exclusive. I hadn't seen it advertised anywhere, but you know, with the advent of the movie and the trailer that's out, this might be worth grabbing now before folks find out about it. And, and it starts selling out. That seems to be what things tend to do nowadays. So, yeah, hope this uh, helps make up your mind about whether you want to pick it up. Or, you know, if you didn't know about it before, I'm glad I could enlighten you to its existence. Glad I got the two that I have. I'm going to try and pick up more every month. Thanks a bunch for watching. You all take it easy.